Hey everybody, it's uh, Tom here, coming at you with yet another video. Uh, today I've got a, a good sized toy haul. I've got some uh, Lego sets, some 6 inch action figures, and then uh, a couple of uh, 1 6 scale figures too. So a good mix of stuff. Um, so yeah, let, let's get right to it. Okay, the first thing I have are a bunch of Lego sets. And um, they're all Legend of Chima. So this is the, um, where's the name? Doesn't s say what this is. It just says building toy. But it, it's obviously a, a polar bear in like a mech suit. So yeah, I've got that. Next, I've got this. This is a Windsor's Pack Patrol. I think this is one of the bad guys. And the last mini bag set I have is um the Anidas Jungle Dragster. Actually no, I'm sorry, I've got one more. Um this is uh, Gorzan's Walker, one of the uh, the gorillas. Okay, and we we'll get to the uh, proper sets. Here is Razkal's glider, one of the uh, crows from the show. I have uh, the first couple seasons of uh, Legends of Chima, the TV show on DVD uh, but I haven't watched them I've watched like the first episode or two but that's about it okay here is a uh, Braptor's wing striker so you get a um, an eagle and a bat let's see is that focus no it's not focusing that's uh looks like a cool little set. Another set. This is Lennox Lion Attack. It comes with Lennox and Krug, the uh, crocodile. So that's cool. Here's Eris Flyer Eagle. That one is 330 pieces. Up next is Eris Eagle Inter Interceptor. That's 348 pieces. Comes with three minifigures Eris, Razor, and Rizzo. Look at that, that looks pretty sweet. Okay, and the last Legends of Chima set I have is Voltrix's Sky Scavenger. It comes with three minifigures Frax, Voltrix. And Barty. See a big mechanical vulture. I don't know why the colors are flipping out there. Okay, uh, up next I've got some uh, one six scale figures. Try to push these aside. And the first one I have is Judge Dredd from, uh, I think this is 3A, and I've already got the figure out of the box and on display. He looks awesome. It's a good figure. Um, I don't know that much about Judge Dredd, the character, um, although I did, when I was a kid, a uh, teenager, 
my mom took us to the UK on a trip and I remember I bought a, a copy of 2000 AD when I was over there and I had a Judge Dredd story in like the beginning of the magazine I wish I still had that copy of 2000 AD but I think I threw it out at some point um, but it was cool to see UK comics because I'm used to just you know American comics and anime and uh, manga to some extent but it was nice to see uh, British comics and Judge Dredd is a, is a cool character I like him I like the whole uh, what's the name of the city Megalon or I don't know but it's like patterned after America it's like basically an American city like Judge Dredd uh, patrols Okay, up next is a uh, disappointing figure. It is the, it's the Punisher. Um, and just to show you, the figure's missing because I've got him on display. Well, you can see his hands there, some extra hands. Uh, this figure, I put him on display next to my other figures, and he looks cheap in comparison. He looks scrawny and weak. Um, well, I think this is a cheaper figure. It's not like a, as nice a figure as like a hot toy or uh, you know a two hundred dollar figure. This is like I don't know what this originally cost when it came out, but I'm guessing like eighty to a hundred dollars, something like that. Um, so it doesn't doesn't look very good in comparison to my other one six scale figures. So I'm probably going to sell him yeah I'll probably or at least put him in the put him away in this box maybe he'll sit in my living room for a long time okay up next got another one six scale figure and it is Avengers Age of Ultron Ultron from Hot Toys and this figure didn't disappoint me unlike the Punisher figure this one looks pretty awesome on display. So I've already got him out of the box. Um, he looks cool with my other Marvel figures. Although he towers over them. He's a big figure. So that is uh, Ultron. Okay, and the last thing I have is a, a box full of um, figures. This is, see, it says Zolo World on the side. 32 pieces made in China and this box is full of um, they're like they're basically like Masters of the Universe style figures Let's see here's I'll show you Pirates of the Galaxies and this is Shred's Swashbuckler this is a um Again, kind of a, a Motu style Masters of the Universe style figure from uh, an independent. I think. Well, I think it's an independent toy maker. Um, and as you can see, I've got a box full of them. Well, first of all, he comes with. Um, whoops. Comes with a bunch of cards and stuff. And a little mini comic. Well, two mini comics, actually three mini comics, and um, what are these ads for ZoloCon 2020? Hmm. But that's Shred Swashbuckler. Let's look at the other figures. We've got um, Crackers Macaw. Another Pirates of the Galaxies is a Mad Eye Marauder. Let's see. Let's think. Here's another skeleton. It is Patch Plan Plank Walker. He's got an eye patch. 
Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with these figures. I might be hanging them on the wall if I can find uh, a place to put them. Most of my wall space has toys on it. And here's the last Pirates of the Galaxies. See their skull. Wait. It's another shred swashbuckler. This one is a different color. And it has a different um, subtitle. So those are those figures, and I've got a bunch more. Here's a blank card back. Fully Puzzle Fantasy Figure, Realm of the Underworld. Um, I'm not sure what this is exactly. Just a, like a blank card back with no figure on it. Here's my order. That aside. Okay, here's uh, these are the main figures I wanted from this set. Uh, the Warrior Beasts. Which I think was actually the name of a knockoff series of, of Motu back in the 80s. And this is a uh, Shadow Claw. The Warrior Beast, you can see they got all of them, along with the Underworld. The Shadow Claw. Up next is Sidewinder. Like a, a snake man. Then we have a tomahawk, which is just a recolor, a coloring of Shadow Claw. And I think this is the last warrior beast. It is uh, Anaconda. Let's push those aside. We got some uh, Realm of the Underworld. The Archfiend Warrior. It's like a translucent skeleton figure. Here is Ulysses, the mystical bow hunter. Oh, this guy looks cool. The Jewel Smuggler. It's like a clear... Uh, he's, a mu he's got a muscular body, but a, a skeleton head. A skull for a head. Um, looks sweet. Up next is Crisis. And this looks like uh, pretty much like He-Man. Like your standard... Uh, Savage, Barbarian, Conan, He-Man type guy. Here is the Cyclops, Warrior Beast. And the last Rumble of the Underworld figure I have is Grim the Executioner. This guy looks like a Almost like a villain out of a, a horror movie. Okay, but I've got uh, another stack of figures still in the box. Let's push these aside. Pull out. Here is the uh, Legends of Darkness. This is the Devil. Or just called Devil. Back of the package, one was the Underworld. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Legends of Darkness and the Warrior Beasts. Here's another mold of that uh, He Man like figure, the champion. This one's got. Uh, it's been recolored. Again, our Legends of Darkness. This is the. This is Death. It's like a light purple uh, skeleton guy. Looks pretty sweet. Um, 
when I was a kid, I had a bunch of Masters of the Universe toys. Um, although I, I didn't buy any of them, they were I think mostly my brothers. But uh, they were definitely classic toys. So I'm happy to, uh, and I've got a bunch of Masters of the Universe classics. So I'm uh, definitely a Motu fan, which is why I'm happy to. Uh, get these and this is the vampire it's the uh... he-man guy with fangs basically a black outfit okay guys well this video has gone on long enough as you can see i've got a whole bunch of stuff uh... thank you very much for watching and have a nice day